Hey, I'm May Length of Month and today I'm going to be talking to you how I incorporate lingerie into my everyday wardrobe. First of all, I would like to say thank you so much for all the critiques on my last video and my videos previously to that where the quality really wasn't up to par. Um, my old DSLR could only film in 720, uh, which was not the greatest thing ever and it's not the quality that I want to show to you guys. So thanks to all of your suggestions, I have went out and purchased a new camera. I got the Canon PowerShot G7X Mark II. I think that's what it's called. <laughs> and hopefully the quality is much better and i hope you enjoy <laughs> wanted to give a quick shout out to my sponsor adam and eve before i start this video they gave me a little discount code if you guys want to use it it's going to be somewhere around here basically adam and eve is a lingerie and sex shop which i will advocate for i love sex shops purely because i love normalizing every aspect of everybody's life and just being who you are at your core. I think it's really freaking neato. They've been around for I think 45 years, which is twice. Yeah, that's double the age that I am right now, which is absolutely insane. And they have hassle-free returns and great customer service. So if you have any questions or suggestions for them, you can always reach out or you can ask me as well and I can give my opinion. I originally, when I was growing up, saw the trends and tried to conform into the trends, which, you know, worked out and helped me explore and discover what pieces work for my body. However, I just choose whatever makes me happy. When I go thrifting, I tend to pick up bustiers, slips, silky items, oversized sweaters, uh, a lot of high-waisted jeans. It just, it makes my heart so warm. And I think I found just the perfect, you know, the perfect pieces that complement my body and make me feel most confident. So I curated five outfits using the Adam and Eve lingerie that they so kindly gifted me and to show you how I would style them for everyday life. Anything can be an outfit, in my opinion. You guys see me wear some really kooky things outside. I just pick whatever makes me happy, and lingerie is definitely one of them. Lingerie doesn't have to be underneath clothes. I just think that they're so stunning, and if you do invest money into things, why not show it off? I hope you enjoy this video. Please let me know what you guys want to see next. I have a couple ideas uh, brewing in my little, little mind right now that I think you would find semi-entertaining. Yeah, let's get to it. May, shut up. Show me the clothes. Okay, 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 let's go, let's go. All right, so for my first outfit, this is something that I would wear to a restaurant or kind of a classier event. If you count a mesh top over a very see-through black bra classy, I also added a pair of light wash Levi denim jeans with just a simple leather jacket. Not a lot of embellishments on this bad boy. Maybe I wouldn't meet your parents in this outfit, but personally, I think I look pretty freaking hot. So for this outfit, I would like to describe it as, oh, she's educated. Joking, I don't have a degree, but hopefully the amount of plaid will shroud that whole fantasy. I paired the Adam and Eve lounger set with just a classic black tank top and the jacket and the pants are from Disturbia. I like how the lounger goes kind of over my shoulders. I find that anything that accentuates my shoulders and my decolletage to be very, very flattering for my body. So this outfit you've probably seen me wear a hundred thousand times. This is a, oh fuck, I have an event in two hours. What do I wear? Just 
high-waisted pants that are more of a funky color to make it appear more put together with a bustier. I paired a sheer cardigan over it. You know, it's the winter months here in Canada, but also a hoe never gets cold. And then for the shoes, I did a platform because people, I don't know, they think that I'm five foot seven or five foot eight in my photos. JK, LOL, I'm five four. So meet me at my eye level or I'll meet you at yours. I personally think that anything monochrome also gives off the effect that it's a very quote unquote put together outfit. So all of it. I love. This is one of my favorite outfits. Going off of the fact that I'm five foot four, I really love to wear more baggy tops because I find that it accentuates my legs and in photos it makes me look a little bit taller. So I paired hella platform heels with stockings so my legs don't look completely completely bare and it just looks like I'm wearing like a pajama top and I added more of a embellished leather jacket because since all the other pieces are so simple I find that I can really play up with a statement outerwear coat yeah does that make sense am I making sense I don't know I don't know And for my last outfit, it is my, if I was a cartoon character, what would my staple outfit be? It would be exactly this. A pair of docks with some wide-legged high-waisted pants and a cropped hoodie. Personally, I find that this shade of beige is very complimentary for my skin tone, hence why I wear this hoodie all the freaking time. And then you can also see me rock out to American Boy. It's my favorite song. I love it almost too much. Wow, I'm sweaty. <laughs> so those are five outfits that I would wear just casually every single day, whether it be going to get the grocery, gonna get my mail, doing some hood rat shit with my friend. I feel super confident in them, really happy. This was the first OOTD video format that I've ever done. I think it went okay. I realized that maybe I had to tweak a couple things in my setup for you to see the whole outfit all at once. And then I'm really short. So I have to use a stool to show you guys my outfits. I hope you guys liked the video. And yeah, thank you so much Adam and Eve for sponsoring this content. It just, it motivates me having people that are interested in me and what I have to say and just companies reaching out and getting a new camera and the quality is well appreciated. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just really jazzed. So I hope you have a good day and I will see you later. Bye.